Gottlieb Wilhelm Daimler was a German industrial designer and engineer, born on the 17th of March, 1834, in Schondorf as a son of Johannes Daimler, a baker, and his wife Frederica. Daimler completed his primary six in Leitenschule at the age of 13, from where he spent two years at secondary school and graduated in 1849. Thereafter, he trained as a gunsmith with gunsmith Hermann Raytel and ended that training with an examination in 1852. He was 18 years old at the time and decided to take a course in, in mechanical engineering that same year. He got accepted into Stuttgart School for Advanced Training in Industrial Arts, after which in 1853, he began working at the factory college. He was extremely hardworking that when the company got into the marketing of railway locomotives in 1956, Daimler was named the foreman at the age of 22. The position was not enough to make Daimler stay, so he left for Stuttgart's Polytechnic Institute for a two-year course to hone his skills. And there, he gained knowledge of locomotive steam and began making small and simple engines for light and cheap industrial use. Daimler resigned from his place of work in 1861 and relocated to England, where he worked with top engineering firms Bayer Peacock and Company of Gotten and increased his knowledge of machine tools. In 1863, he became an inspector and later executive at the Christian socialist toolmaker, Brother Horst Rudlinger. It was his time at the company that he met Willem Maybach, a 15-year-old orphan. Daimler grew frustrated with the way the company ran its affairs that he left the company in 1869 and joined Machenbau Karlsruhe. From there, Daimler worked briefly in 1872 at N.A. Otto & Klee. He was dedicated to the job and showed the skill that the management passed Otto, who owned half of the company, and appointed Daimler as the factory manager, while Maybach, whom Daimler brought with him, became the chief designer. Otto, who had tried 14 times to develop a gaseous foil that compressed the four-stroke cycle, finally succeeded in 1876. He patented his engine the next year, exempting Daimler from it. One of the 25 patents filed by Otto was challenged by Daimler, who feared that Otto's patent would prevent him from making his own engine. The patent was of a turn turned. Daimler had wanted to build small engines that could be used for transportation, but Otto showed no interest in it. Instead, Otto showed great displeasure of Daimler that led to Daimler being fired in 1880 with pay of 112,000 gold marks as compensation for the patience of both Daimler and Maybach. Daimler set up his own shop in Cannstatt, which he financed with his savings. Maybach also resigned and went along with him. They designed the engine after much brainstorming on how best to follow the four-stroke design made by Otto. And in 1883, they patented their first engines, which ran faster to cover 750 RPM. It was too small. They spent the next four years improving on the engine till it ran up to 900 RPM. By 1884, Daimler had designed three engines, one of which was a flywheel. His design stood out for being smaller and lighter than other engines designed by other investors. He made the engine with a flywheel into a light vehicle called the rate wagon. It became the first vehicle to be powered by an internal combustion engine. Daimler and Maybach then made a carburetor in 1885 and also assembled a bigger version of the engine. He also created the first internal combustion motorcycle. But unknown to Daimler, Carl Benz was also producing the same automobile and also knew nothing about Daimler's production. Daimler and Maybach secretly imported an American model coach into his house on March 8 in 1886 and installed the version of the grandfather clock engine into it, making it into a four-wheeled vehicle. It became the first ever vehicle to reach 16 km per hour, 10 mph. With this success, Daimler's desire was to find several ways that the engine could be used, so they used the engine on water in 1886. It became the first motorboat. They used the engine also on streetcars, trolleys, and on the Daimler air balloons, referred to as the first airship. They also sold their foreign license for the engines in 1887. Still, desiring better usage of this engine in 1889, Daimler and Maybach built their first automobile called the Starard Wagon. It was influenced by the bicycle design and did not need a horse-drawn carriage. 
It was built in France since there was no production company in Germany and in 1889, they presented their work to the general public. Unfortunately, Daimler lost his wife, Emma Kunz, that same year. In 1900, Daimler died and was buried. Although Daimler and Benz never met or talked to themselves in their lifetime, several years later, after their deaths, the Daimler Motoring Gesellschaft DMG and Benz and CIE representatives on June 28, 1926, signed an agreement to merge the two oldest automobile manufacturers in the world. This resulted in the Daimler-Benz company. Daimler was posthumously accepted into the Automotive Hall of Fame in 1978 and was honored with the naming of a stadium in Stuttgart, Germany after him between 1993 and 2008. Gottlieb Daimler had a motto he lived by which was the best or nothing at all, nothing but the best. This became the adopted slogan of Mercedes-Benz in 2010. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.